On this episode of Resurgent Rams, we take a look at our first season in the Premier League, how we started our signings and how it all ended up. Sit back, grab a tea, like this video and subscribe to the channel because this episode is an emotional roller coaster. The season preview was in and it didn't rate us, giving us any sort of chance of staying up in the Premier League. It had us down in 19th place, 400 to 1 to, to win the Premier League, which definitely is not going to happen. But we are below teams like Norwich, who we beat twice last season. They clearly don't rate the signings that we've made this season. And the signings we've made this season have been very, very good. They have been unbelievable. Kicking it off with players like Liam Big, Drip, Delap, Heem and Samad Bazdar will lead the front line for us. Harwood Bellis, another Manchester City graduate, has come in to play centre-half for us. An unbelievable young English talent as well as players like Tommy Doyle, another City Academy graduate, just call us Man City FC rejects, and Manny came in to play at Cam as well, leaving the squad looking like this. Calvina, the new goalkeeper, everyone's talking about from Lokomotiva, an absolute coup of a sign-in for Derby County FC. Other players that will be key will be Jamal Lewis at left back. And Jed Spence at right back. Can we get the best out of this young man? Our front line is looking good. Brian Hill came in from Tottenham Hotspur for a cheap fee. An unbelievable cheap Spanish beast on the game. Up front, as well as mentioned, it is Samad Bazda. Fans of my Irish series will remember him for scoring so many goals. Can this team keep us in the Premier League? Our schedule is going to be a tough one in the first 10 games. We've got Liverpool to kick off our Premier League campaign. And clubs like Villa, City, Arsenal and Everton to play in a very tough November. Should we need the points, our last few games are going to be absolutely impossible. Tottenham and Manchester United will be tough. If we need points, we don't want to leave it to those last couple of games. Let's see how we got on in the Premier League. A big season for the Rams. Comment below now where you think we're going to end up. We kicked off the Premier League season with an outstanding win. 1-0 against Liverpool's big drip drillap gave us the three points. After Gruwich was sent off for a shocking tackle, we dominated the game against Leicester and Jamal Lewis was absolutely running rampant with a brilliant goal down the left-hand side to put us one up in this game. It was looking like we could do back-to-back -back wins and that's exactly what happened in the first two games of the season. Erin Cashin moving the ball forward as he does, finding that man Lewis again who's having an unbelievable start to the season for us, whips in across and finds Samad Bazdar for a tap-in. West Ham were up next in the third game of the season and it didn't start well for us as Lucas Paquetar sold my car to Lucas Paquetar, absolutely dominating us. And Mohamed Kudas, their best player, slots it past Kavlina to concede our first goal of the season. But we wasn't to be denied in this game. We came back and fought back for a point. Harwood Bellis combining with Spence just after halftime. As Spence marauded down the right-hand side, cut back in, did some skills and Lazar Armani got us the draw. We followed it up with wins against Cardiff and Wolves and then went into a big game against Brentford, who at the time were bottom of the league. It was a big six-pointer and we started off very well. Brian Hill getting his first goal for the football club, a deflected shot and in past Nathan Trott. And it was a mad half an hour in this game as so many goals were scored. As Mass Rudzalev combined down the right-hand side to put Brentford in and Damsgaard was there with a tap and It was sloppy defending from Spence there to concede the goal but we weren't to be denied in this game we were just going to go on to win it and Brian Hill picked out Harwood Bellis who picked out Lascelles at the back post for the pinball goal after beating Brentford and Leeds Bournemouth were up next and they they humbled us Alex Scott scored an absolute banger we should have got more out of this game but they took their chances we didn't and Scott finessed it past Calvina to give us our first defeat of the season we then lost to Arsenal and had a very bad run of form Arsenal absolutely dominated us in this game and it was looking squeaky bum time as we were just losing games left right and center Martinelli with a finesse goal past Calvina and Arsenal were Flying. They should have beat us 4, 5 and 6, but we managed to keep it to 2 as Zinchenko passed it to Nico. Nico had too much time on the ball, managed to find Reese Nelson who just cut inside, finessed it past the goalkeeper and gave us our second defeat. After being destroyed by a Chelsea, we had to play Norwich in a big six-pointer and it started off all for us as Harry Suter just nodded the ball past Kavlina at the near post. A terrible goal to concede and it was looking like Norwich were going to go on and destroy us. But straight after the kickoff, Spence was not having it playing left back today, just marauding with his pace. Just couldn't do nothing about him and Delap was there to put a goal past his former side who was on loan at the season before. 
After that, we gained a lot of confidence in this game as Harwood Bellis was marauding down the right-hand side. Normally plays at centre-back for us, but he had to do a job out there. And Tommy Doyle is a great passer of the ball. Found Lingard, who gets his first goal of the season. He scored for us in League One, the Championship, and now the Premier League. Our cult hero at Derby is Jay Lingers. We finished him off in the 86th minute with Big Drip the lap scoring another goal to give us a vital point. Leaving the table after 15 games of the season, we somehow find ourselves in fifth place with eight wins three draws and four defeats with 11 plus goal difference 27 points we are already 14 points above brentford and the relegation battle we're looking like we're gonna stay up will this form go on and continue into the rest of the season but i just wanted to highlight some players that have done so well for us so far and that man liam big drip the lap it's all about him seven goals in 14 games for the young englishman improving all of the time his counterpart who came in from Manchester City as well. Tommy Doyle has been absolutely solid for us. A stalwart in the middle of the park. And along with him, another player I have to mention, because it's not fair if I don't, is Jed Spence, turning into an unbelievable player. The player Tottenham thought they had bought, we have at Derby County. Can we stay up? Are we good enough to stay up? Or will we have a miraculous season where we finish in European football? Stay tuned to find out. We picked up some more statement wins along the way. And one of those was a 4-0 drubbing of Leicester who were sitting in mid-table. And it was looking like dreamland for Derby County as we went on an unbelievable run. Smashing teams left, right and centre. No more so than an unbelievable win at Anfield for the Rams. A 4-2 victory wins means back-to-back -back wins against Liverpool for the first time ever for Derby County in the Premier League. What an achievement it was. An unbelievable smashing. We were flying and the league table after 28 games was looking ridiculous. Sitting second in the Premier League after 28 games with 10 games to go is just an unfathomable experience for our first season in the Premier League. I mean, can we finish in Champions League? Will we finish just outside of Europe? It could all come down to the last 10 games and the schedule shows how dominant we have been and the games that we have got left. We've got most of the big teams to play, which is where I feel like we're going to drop down the table. Teams like City, Arsenal, Tottenham, Manchester United in the running as well as Chelsea. It's going to be tough. Comment below where you think we're going to finish Champions League football or just miss out. Defeats against Manchester City, Arsenal and Chelsea were looking like we were going to flop. And the pick of the goals here was from Phil Foden, who demolished us in this game. But we came back with five huge wins in a row. The first one kicking it off against Norwich. Beating our arch rivals Nottingham Forest as well in this five game winning run really gave the confidence back into the team after a bad, bad run beforehand. A statement victory at Old Trafford left us qualifying for the UEFA Champions League in only our first season in the Premier League. And Vega wrapping up the points for us here. And this left the first Premier League table looking like an absolute wonder delight for Derby County fans. I can't believe we finished fourth in the first season. 75 points, 9 defeats, 6 draws, 23 Big, big victories. And even Sam Adbazdar got 21 goals. Unbelievable. Spence with the yellow cards is up there as well. I mean, Baz was second player of the matches as well. What a season it's been for the boys. And the squad ended up looking like this at the end of the season. As you can see, it was Calvino who mainly played in goal for us. There was a lot of... Everyone played games, to be perfectly honest. Tommy Doyle, Max Bird were very consistent in the midfield for us, as you can see. They played 40 games for the football club. Delap got 10 goals. Vega got 12. Troy Parrott even chucked himself in with six. Lingard got three and five. But it was my main man, Doyle, who was the big man this season. Him and Spence have had unbelievable seasons, as well as Jamal Lewis turned into prime Roberto Carlos. We now plan for a Champions League campaign next season. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Let's go the Rams.